from KPRC. You're watching Local 2 News at 6. Well, Brian Williams ended with the moon. We'll begin with the people who took us there. NASA brings tens of thousands of jobs to the Houston area, but sources say there is no money in the president's new budget for the program that was expected to follow the space shuttle. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Bayessa. And I'm Rachel McNeil. Dominique and Jerome are off. Now tonight, NASA employees, contractors, and businesses want to know what will come next. KPRC Local Tour reporter Ryan Korsgaard joins us now live from downtown. And Ryan, what is NASA saying about their budget? Well, no comment locally, and this may mean no moon program, and the old Saturn V may be the only moon rocket. NASA has framed a successful business for Upper Bay Frame and Gallery in Nassau Bay. Uh, NASA is very important to our business. We have people come over all the time with framing projects. The store sits in the shadows of the Johnson Space Center. It's been here for 14 years. We do custom framing and we have original art too from local artists. And it's not just the people who work at NASA, but their family members, even their friends who bring work here. A lot of projects depend on NASA. Now the president apparently wants to cut funding for returning to the moon. An aide who knows the budget details says this is the end of a program that has already cost more than $9 billion. The Orion Crew Exploration Vehicle alone, just part of the moon project, employs 1,400 people in our area. There's no way of telling, but, I, but it's, it's, going to be, it's going to be devastating to the area. Bob Mitchell is the president of Bay Area Houston Economic Partnership. He says about 17,500 local jobs are directly tied to NASA. You're ready for a fight if that's what it comes to. Well, yeah, we are. We're ready for a fight. And, and I can assure you that, that uh, it's, it's not just the Bay Area Houston Economic Partnership. This is the state of Texas. This is a national issue as well. I mean, nobody wants to lose you know, our rankings in space exploration. Locally, NASA is not talking about the still unreleased budget. A NASA associate administrator says his agency needs to concentrate on space flight. These other things, the political pieces, those will get solved in time. But right now, we've got to take a maximum advantage of what we got and move forward. Now, a former NASA administrator put it this way. He said this would leave NASA and the nation with no program, no plan, and no commitment to any human spaceflight program beyond that of today. Now, we expect an official announcement on Monday at 2 o'clock. We're live near downtown. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Local 2.